how to edit montage. Maybe you want to make a video montage with some music or maybe you want to put together some gaming highlights from a Twitch stream. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit a video montage in the simplest way using an online video editor called Veed, which we'll be using to upload your clips, arrange them how you want, add some slow motion effects, add music, add some text, add some filters, and even change the video shape for your socials. So first things first, I'm gonna head over to veed.io. If you haven't got an account, you can create one for free, and I'm gonna leave a link down to Veed in the video description. Then on the homepage, you can hit upload your video, then upload a file, and I'll select my first video clip from my desktop and hit open. And once it's uploaded, you'll see it sitting down at the bottom of the screen in the video timeline. Now it's time to start editing our montage. So if I press play, you'll see that this clip is about four seconds long, but I wanna make it a little bit shorter. So I'm just gonna cut it down to the part of the video that I want to use. To do that, I'm gonna select my clip in the timeline, and then I could just click and drag the ends of the clip like so, and I can do that from the front and the back of the clip. Or to be a bit more precise, I can select the clip in the timeline again, and I can use the blue playhead to find the start of the section of the video that I want to keep. Then I'm just gonna hit the split tool, which is these scissors here, and that will make an instant cut in my video. Then I'm gonna move the playhead again to the end of the section that I want to keep, which I think is about there. Select the clip, hit split, and now as you can see, I've now created a new clip in the middle of the timeline, and with those other two sections on each side, I can just select them and then hit delete on my keyboard, like so, and I could do exactly the same with the other one, select and delete, and I'm just gonna click and drag my remaining clip to the start of the timeline, and now I'm ready to add my second clip. To do that, I'm gonna select the plus icon at the end of the timeline, and then when the window opens, I'm gonna select my second clip from the desktop and hit open. And you'll now see that sitting next to my other clip in the video timeline. And once again, I can select that clip and make any adjustments to the length by clicking and dragging or using that split tool. Next, I'm gonna add one more clip to the timeline by once again hitting that plus icon, selecting my third clip, hitting open, and we now have three clips in the timeline ready to create our montage. And if you want to change the order of your clips, all you need to do is select a clip in the timeline and then just click and drag it like so, and you can move them around as much as you want and just play around and see what works for your sequence. Now, to make this montage really pop, I want to add some music. But first, I want to make sure my video clips are muted in the timeline, so it's just gonna be music playing in my montage. To do that, all you need to do is select a clip and then in the menu up here under audio, just select the speaker icon here. And by selecting that, you can automatically mute the clip. And I'm just gonna do that for each of the other clips in the timeline. Just click and mute. And now I'm ready to add some music. To add my music, I'm just gonna go over to the left-hand toolbar and select upload, and then upload audio. And I'll select the music track that I've already downloaded from my desktop and I'll hit open. And as you can see, my music track is this blue file sitting on top of my videos. Obviously, it's way too long at the moment, so I'm just gonna select it in the timeline and just drag it down to the length of my video clips, like so. And then I'm just gonna go over to Fit Timeline here, just so we can see exactly what we're working with. And I'll make that final adjustment, like so. And now if I drag my playhead to the start of the timeline and hit play, you'll hear the music playing over my video clips. If the music's playing a bit too loud, you can just select it in the timeline, and then in the menu up here, you can adjust the audio just by sliding it along like this. I'm gonna put mine at about 70%. And if you decide you want to change your audio track for a new one, just down at the bottom of the menu here, you can see that there's a replace audio option, and by selecting that, you can just pick a new track from your desktop. And now just by watching through your clips in the timeline with the music playing, you can make any sort of little adjustments that you want to make using those splitting and trimming methods just to make sure it matches well with the rhythm and the beat of the music. Now, I want to give one of my clips a slow motion effect. If you want to do this, you'll get the best looking slow motion footage if it's recorded at at least 50 or 60 frames per second. My clips were filmed at 60 frames per second, and I want to make this middle clip in the timeline slower. So first, I'm gonna zoom out of the timeline with this minus icon here, and then I'm gonna select my end clip and just drag it to the end of the timeline like this. This is because I'm making the middle clip slower, so it's gonna end up taking some more room in the timeline. And now I'll select that middle clip, go up to my edit menu, and then here you'll see some speed options, and I'm gonna select 0.5, which is gonna make my clip 50% slower. 
And as you can see, it's now got longer in the timeline. And if I hit play, you'll see that it's playing back at 50% of the speed. And now I'm just gonna trim that clip back down again, like so. And I'm also gonna move my third clip along the timeline like that. You can also add some text to your montage. Just head over to the left-hand toolbar and select text. And then by selecting one of these presets, I'm just gonna choose headline title. You'll see that it automatically drops a text box on top of my video. And now I can write what I want my text to say. So I'm just gonna put good morning. And just underneath, I can select from all of the different fonts. I could change the size. I could change the color. And then if I go under more options here, I can also add a drop shadow from this menu here. And I'm gonna change the color of that drop shadow just so it's easier to read. And now on the canvas, I can click my text box and just drag it to wherever I want it to be within the frame. And down in the video timeline, I can select my text box and choose the duration. And I just want it to last for my first clip. So I'm just gonna drag it down like that. You can also change the video shape. Maybe you want to post this montage on your Instagram feed or your story. So to change the video shape, I just need to go back to the left-hand toolbar and hit settings. And then under size, there's a drop-down menu and you can select from all of the different size presets. I'm gonna choose story. And as you can see, that's automatically changed the size of my video canvas. And now all I need to do is select the elements on the canvas and just click and drag to resize them within the new frame. So I've done that with the video. And I'm gonna move my text box drag it to make it a bit bigger now. And then I'll do that for the rest of the clips as well by selecting them in the timeline and just adjusting them by clicking and dragging. It's all very simple. So now we have a montage ready for my Instagram story. Finally, you can also add some video filters to your footage. I'm gonna select a clip in the timeline and then go over to filters here on the left-hand side. And you can see in the first menu, you've got lots of different options for color grading, but I'm gonna go into the next menu, which is effects. And here you'll see all sorts of different effects like VHS, glitch, old, but I quite like this dusty film effect here. So if I select it, it will automatically add it to the clip I've selected in the timeline. And I'm gonna add that to all of my clips just by selecting it, going to filters, going to effects, and then selecting that same filter like so. And now if I play it back, you'll see that all the footage has this really cool retro look to it. So I'm now ready to export my montage. To do that, I'm gonna to go to the top right-hand corner of the screen and select Export. And then in this drop-down menu, I'm gonna select the export preset that I want to use. I want to upload my video to YouTube, so I'm just gonna scroll down and find the 1080p YouTube settings. I'll select that, and now I'll select Export Video, and the editor will now render the file. On this next page, I can now review my video like so. And as you can see, I've got a nice montage ready to go. If you want to make any more edits, you can select edit video here on the right hand side, which will take you back to the editing window. But if you're happy, you can select download MP4, which will download your finished video to your computer. And that is how to edit a video montage online. Make sure you check out the link in the video description to check out Veed for yourself. And let me know down in the comments below, are you creating a gaming montage or a montage for a vlog? And if you want some more easy to follow editing tutorials just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.